In this episode, you'll learn how I started two seven-figure businesses while working a full-time job with two young kids. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, as I release more content like this, you will get notified. And if you are on YouTube, click on the alert notification button. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Since this is the pilot episode, I wanted to first talk about what this channel is going to be all about. Now, if you follow my blog over at mywifequitterjob.com, you can probably already guess that the theme of this channel is going to be about entrepreneurship and specifically focusing on online businesses and e-commerce, which happens to be my bread and butter. But unlike other business channels, mine is going to focus specifically on starting businesses with the goal of improving your lifestyle. So this is not going to be a channel about starting the next big company like an Amazon.com or a Facebook or a Google. It's not going to be about creating a business that requires outside funding from a VC or an angel investor and growing a company as fast as possible by working 100 hour weeks. So in a nutshell, I'm going to be talking about starting businesses that will make you enough money to be happy but not consume your life. After all, the ultimate goal is to make enough money so you can spend your time doing the things that you love and spending more time with your loved ones. The ultimate goal is to live a balanced lifestyle of work and play. So one thing I do want to make clear though, is that just because you want to live a balanced life with your business does not necessarily mean that you can't earn a lot of money. Now my name is Steve Chu and I run a seven figure blog called mywifequitterjob.com, an e-commerce podcast of the same name, a seven figure e-commerce store that sells wedding linens over at bumblebeelinens.com, an online course that teaches people how to start their own e-commerce stores at profitableonlinestore.com, and an annual e-commerce conference called the Seller Summit. Now in this episode, I want to take you back to the very beginning when I first got started with my online businesses. Now the year was 2007, and I remember that year very clearly because that year, my wife and I were stuck in a major rut. And what do I mean by a rut? Every single day was like a routine. We'd wake up, go to work, and come back from work, have dinner together, watch TV in bed until it was time to go to bed, fall asleep, and wake up the next morning again, go to work, rinse, and repeat. We didn't have any direction and days just flew by and I never felt like I accomplished anything with my life. Now I hung out with my friends and I had a good time from time to time, but my life just seemed very aimless. And to make things even worse, my wife really hated her job. Each and every day after we would eat breakfast and it was time to go to work, she would come up to me with a really long face and say, honey, I'm off to the hellhole I call my job now. Now this actually happened for quite a long time and it was really, really depressing every single day having to see my wife go off to work to a place that she didn't want to be at. Now, unfortunately, this pattern persisted for quite a while until something really major happened in our life. And this major thing was that my wife became pregnant with our first child. Now, as soon as we found out, practically everything changed overnight. All of a sudden, I wanted to get my life together. I wanted to earn a lot more money to support the family. And most importantly, my wife told me that she wanted to quit her job and become a stay-at-home mom. Now, when I heard about the pregnancy and the fact that she wanted to quit, I was happy and I was terrified at the same time. Now, I full on believe in having a parent stay at home with the child, but I was really worried about the money and it was primarily because my wife made a six figure salary at the time working for a Fortune 500 company. And to make things worse, I live in the Silicon Valley where you pretty much need two incomes if you want to buy a house in a good school district. And also when you have two six figure salaries in the household, you become accustomed to living a certain lifestyle and I didn't really want to drastically cut back. So instead of just having my wife quit and forego all of that income, we decided to try and start an e-commerce store together. So I actually got the idea to open an e-commerce store for my friend. And I remember this moment very clearly because one day just out of the blue, he came up to me and he wanted to show me a project that he was working on. And it turns out that he created this online photo store in order to sell his photos. Now the kicker was that I was pretty sure that he didn't know that much about websites at the time. He didn't know how to program in PHP, HTML, and CSS, but yet here he was showing me a fully functional online store that he implemented 100% by himself, and it turns out that he paid $0 for his website because he used open source software to implement everything. Now, if you could just see my face as he was showing me his website, you would have seen that my jaw completely dropped because here he was, a person who didn't have experience with websites, and here he was creating a fully functional e-commerce store. In fact, it was after seeing his website that it actually gave me the confidence that I could start my own online store even though I had zero knowledge about the web whatsoever. So I went back and I talked to my wife about this and it turns out that the online business model was ideal. We could have a computer take orders for us 24-7 and all we had to do is pack and ship orders at the end of the day from home. 
And the best part is that you don't even need to carry inventory. You can actually do something called dropshipping. And the way dropshipping works is you simply take orders on your online store and have a distributor actually ship the orders. So with that in mind, we got the confidence to start our own online store with only $630 in cash. And this is how BumblebeeLinens.com was born in 2007, selling wedding handkerchiefs online. Now, if you were to fast forward a little bit, within a year, we actually managed to make over $100,000 in profit. And by the time my wife's maternity leave was up, we had made enough money with our store to replace her lost income so she could actually quit without any financial repercussions whatsoever. And if you were to fast forward to the present day, my wife is much happier now. She earns many more times the amount of money than her day job, and our business has actually grown in the double and triple digits for the past decade and is now a seven-figure business. And the best part is that she only has to work a couple of hours each day, she gets to stay at home with the kids and set her own schedule, and overall, it's turned out to be one gigantic win-win situation for us. Anyways, that's just a little background story about how my wife and I started our e-commerce store. Now, one of the most asked questions I get on my blog is actually how we came up with selling wedding handkerchiefs online. And naturally, there's a story behind that as well. Now, like most business owners, I know you often have to draw upon some of your own experiences when finding the right niche for your business. So how do we find our niche? Well, when my wife and I first got engaged to be married and we were planning our wedding, my wife knew that she was going to cry. Now, she gets very emotional during weddings and special events, and she basically didn't want to be seen at the altar with some ratty tissues to dry her tears of joy. And I remember back then, also at the time, we spent an ungodly amount of money on wedding photography. We really wanted all these photos to come out great, and we didn't want some nasty tissues to be in the pictures as well. So the solution was that my wife wanted to carry a handkerchief with her, and the problem was that we looked everywhere. We went to all the malls in our area, we went to all the brick and mortar stores around that we could possibly carry these handkerchiefs, but we couldn't find them anywhere. Now there's actually one place where we finally managed to track down a handkerchief, which was at David's Bridal, but it ended up being really ugly. The material was kind of coarse and it was a very masculine handkerchief. But you know what? We ended up buying it anyways because that was going to be our last resort. Ultimately, however, my wife really hated that hanky, so we started actually looking online for alternatives. And after looking for a couple of days online, we ended up finding this vendor in China who carried a wide variety of handkerchiefs, many of which my wife really liked. But there was a catch. The vendor that we found in China was actually a manufacturer of handkerchiefs, and the minimum order quantity was on the order of 20 dozen. Now, if you think about it, that's 240 handkerchiefs, of which we really only needed one or two, maybe six, but my wife liked the designs of these handkerchiefs so much better, so we ended up importing these hankies, used about six or so, and then sold the rest on eBay. And lo and behold, they sold like hotcakes. So when it came time to start our online store years later, we got back in touch with this initial vendor where we purchased our handkerchiefs and we ran the numbers to see if it could be a viable business. And after a lot of deliberation, we crossed our fingers and just went ahead and pulled the trigger and launched. So that's just a basic story of how we found our niche. And witnessing the success of our business naturally spawned a lot of questions from our friends because at the time, all of us were starting to have kids all around the same time and a lot of my friends wanted to stay at home with their kids as well. So after the first year when we made six figures, I decided to launch a blog to document our experiences with starting our online store. And incidentally, that is how mywifequitterjob.com was born at the end of the year of 2008. Now, while the blog started out really slowly, it actually had no readers at all in the beginning. You know how a lot of bloggers like to say that the only reader was their mom? Well, I can confidently say that my mom actually did not read my blog at all because she thought it was just a hobby and she never really thought that blogging could be a good business model. But slowly and surely, the blog actually started generating some income of its own by the end of the second year. And by 2011, I was actually getting so many e-commerce questions that I decided to launch an e-commerce course. So in March of 2011, I launched Create a Profitable Online Store, which was my course that taught others how to start an online store of their own, and the initial price was $300. Now what was kind of unique about my course was that I launched it with absolutely zero content whatsoever. But fortunately, I had a pretty decent following on the blog and I was extremely lucky to have 35 students take a leap of faith and sign up for my class with the trust that I would deliver the content that would teach them how to start their own business. Now today my course has well over 3,500 students and counting and well over 100 hours of tutorial videos. And here's how I handled the course. I treated it like something that would grow slow and steady. So the initial price was 300 bucks, started out with zero content, but every single week I would add more and more content, I would answer more and more student questions, and over time I've raised the price of the course to the current price that it is today. And by the time you hear this episode, the amount of students in my class will be a lot larger because I'm signing up students every single day and the content continues to expand. 
Today, MyWifeQuitterJob.com generates a healthy seven figures in income, and the majority of that is profit. Now, fast forward five more years, I kept getting questions about whether I was gonna hold any meetups for my community. The students in my class, my readership, and my listenership all wanted to meet and hang out in person. So in 2016, I launched my annual e-commerce conference called the Seller Summit. Now, the intention of this event was actually not to make any money, and I wanted to create an event that I would want to attend personally year after year. So here's what's unique about the Seller Summit. First off, I purposely keep it small with a focus on networking. Everyone eats lunch together, parties together every night, everything is included, and everyone hangs out together the entire time. All the sessions are strategy focused and action oriented with zero fluff. After all, I hate talks where the speakers just talk about their past accomplishments. Anyway, it turns out that a lot of people share my taste in conferences because the Seller Summit has sold out every single year since its existence, and we always have a long waiting list. Anyways, that's just a little background story about who I am and what I've done up until this point. It's really been an exhilarating ride and extremely rewarding from both a mental and a monetary standpoint. And best of all, it doesn't really take a rocket science degree to start. And in fact, that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to start this YouTube channel. It's because I want to dispel a lot of the myths about small business ownership. So here's the thing. With the media throwing around phrases like 9 out of 10 businesses fail within the first three years, it's only natural that people are discouraged from actually giving it a try. And in fact, I've polled my readers in the past about why they haven't started their own businesses, and I've gotten a multitude of answers, everything from it's too risky, to it costs too much money, to I don't have the technical knowledge, to I don't have the time, it's just too hard. So I decided to go ahead and address some of these objections today in this video. Now first and foremost, when it comes to starting an online business, you don't have to start the next big thing. Entrepreneurship is not about trying to start a gigantic company, sacrificing your family and your relationships to make it big. Now in reality, you don't have to hit a home run. You really just need to go for a base hit, and it's actually not that hard to create a business that allows you to make enough money to support you and your family with a much smaller time commitment. Now after having two kids myself, I've come to learn that spending time with your loved ones is precious. So your focus should really be about building and strengthening your relationships and doing the things that you love because life is just too short. Starting a business also doesn't have to cost a lot of money. And to give you an example, we started our online store Bumblebee Linens for just $630. We bought a computer, a digital camera, paid for some web hosting and some initial inventory, and that is about it. And if you were to look around today, chances are you already have a computer if you're watching this video, you already have a digital camera if you have a smartphone, and web hosting is dirt cheap. So what that means is you can literally start an online business for as little as $5 a month. And if you take advantage of open source software, the monetary risk is just so small that it would be a shame not to give it a try. And in fact, I want to share a thank you letter that I received the other day from a student in my class. Dear Steve, I've been crazy busy with my store and I'm on track to make over $100,000 this month. I can't believe it. I did it all myself and I paid just under $30 a month to maintain my website. Your course was invaluable. This student actually spent less money to start their online store than I did. So you don't need a whole lot of money to start. Now the next myth I wanted to spell is that you don't need a lot of technical knowledge either. You don't need a lot of technical know-how to start your online business. And once again, I want to use myself as an example here. I started our online business without knowing a lick of HTML, CSS, or PHP. And if you look at the students in my class, 99.9% .9 of the students have very little or no technical knowledge whatsoever, and they've still managed to launch great looking shops. Now today, there are many services out there that will take care of the entire website part for you, and all you gotta do is work on taking orders, product fulfillment, and marketing your online store. And with open source software, all the code is written for you, and it's absolutely free. Now finally, I want to address the myth of time. A lot of people complain that they don't have enough time to run an online store or an online business. Now I have two kids, I built my businesses while working a full-time job as an engineering director. I run an online store, a blog, a podcast, an online store course, a blogging course, a YouTube channel, and a yearly conference. And to be honest, I feel like I have a ton of free time to spend with my family. Finding the time is all about being efficient and taking on a slow and steady mindset. By setting aside a little bit of time every single day to work on a project, you can actually accomplish a lot over time. And before you know it, by putting a little bit of time in it each and every day, you'll be ready to launch before you know it. Now I want to end this first video by talking a little bit about my philosophies regarding entrepreneurship. Now the first thing that you need to realize is that you will never ever make life-changing money at your day job unless you have significant equity in your company. Now don't get me wrong, your day job is good for paying the bills and generally staying afloat, but you will never ever make life-changing money working for someone else. 
The only way to make life-changing money is by becoming your own boss. And so I believe that everyone should start out by starting a business on the side. Now, if you're married, you can have one spouse work and the other one take a chance at starting a business. And by doing things this way, you have the early stability of having some income and at the same time, giving yourself the chance to make life-changing money. Now, if you're single, then you can start your business on the side. You can work at the same time and spend your nights and weekends working on something that can make you life-changing money. Now, I have a couple of philosophies about your full-time job as well. When it comes to working a day job, the cushier the job, the better. Now, this might seem a little bit counterintuitive because most people think that working at a cushy job is bad because you aren't challenging yourself. And conventional wisdom also says that you should change jobs whenever you feel complacent. In fact, I have friends that do this all the time, and a specific friend that I'm thinking about right now, whenever he gets bored, he switches jobs, and more often than not, he ends up working longer hours. He has to prove himself all over again, and he ends up devoting all of his free time working at his new job in order to establish himself all over again. So here's what I'm proposing instead of working longer hours for someone else. Why not spend that time on your own business now? If it's a challenge that you're worrying about, I can almost guarantee you that running your own business will be infinitely more challenging to start than any day job that you've ever had, and you'll actually end up feeling much more fulfilled as well. If you look at my wife and I, starting a business has really had a tremendous impact on our lives. So if you're on the fence about giving it a try, I would say just do it. It doesn't cost that much money, there's very little risk involved, and hopefully as I've shown you, you really don't need to be a tech whiz to begin. It's just about taking action. It's about setting aside a little bit of time every single day to work on something that could potentially make you life-changing money and really improve your lifestyle. So I hope you enjoyed this first intro video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.